Let's move on to 2A semi-state. This game has been moved to Saturday. We're talking about a long trip, if you're yes, looking it is. to Whiting, about as far northwest <laughs> in the region as you can get. It's like an extra dip as you head up to Chicago. I mean, this is, this is a far yeah, drive from is. Woodland. Does that concern you at all? I mean, the move to Saturday, I would think, would probably help. Not only does it give you an extra day to prepare, I mean, it gives both teams an extra day to right. prepare, but, you know, you don't have to do it after school. Yeah. Um, what do you see as being the biggest keys in this game? Because, yeah, it's a heck of a trip. Well, you look at uh, what Whiting does. They have four guys that have rushed for 550 or more yards, so they like to run the ball, uh, similar to a lot of teams that Woodland has played. Um, but I just don't th I think they have their their level is just a step above a lot of the teams. Maybe Adam Central, you think of that that Woodland had trouble with. Uh, it's just a different step up. What Whiting is is a very good team. Just loves to pound the ball. Good offensive line. That is going to be the key uh, defensively for for Woodland is to how they combat that running game, and and see if they can slow it down. Stewart Glasgow. Yes. Their quarterback at Whiting for the Oilers. Six three junior. You're talking about in two, two weeks ago he throws for 340 yards. Last week he runs for over 100. Yeah. How do you, I don't know, keep him under wraps? What do you do if you're Woodland? Because they haven't seen as many, that many versatile quarterbacks, I guess you could say, over the course of the season in the ACAC. Yeah, different look. It's kind of a dual threat guy. So you look at it and, and you know, how are they going to keep them uh, really on their toes? But you look at it as Woodland has been tested so much. We looked at last week against West Lafayette, and we thought, well, there's just – or Winchester. Mm -hmm. And looked at, you know, they played Ke Keontae Enos, and they're down 26-7 at halftime. And you go, this is the end. And it just told me so much about that Woodland team to come back, which I've said all year is just young, and eventually they're just going to reach a game where they're just not engaged, and, and they kind of check out. And that young team at halftime stepped up, made enough plays to win. Now you look at it, you're saying, okay, now can anybody beat him in the north? And that's Whiting's job, and it will be another stiff test. But I just, uh, to be honest, I thought Woodland was dead last week at halftime. So they showed me a lot last week, and I'm afraid to pick against them now. Uh, as well you should. <laughs> you talk about the young guys. Mr. Van Brocklin last week goes for 30 carries, but under 100 yards rushing. Then Jack Rhodes steps yeah, up. Yeah, then he steps up. Yeah. And you're talking about a guy who went for, I, I think I had him down for, a, what was it, a buck 48? Yeah, yeah, 148 on 18 carries, two touchdowns, including, you know, the biggest one with a, a little over a, a minute and a half left in the ball game. So the young guys, at this point, you're not a sophomore anymore, I right, guess is yeah. my point. You're basically a junior. Do you feel better about that if you're sure with Haydock now that these guys have, have gotten some bounce back type experience where they're down double digits in the playoffs and come back and win one? Yeah, they made so many big plays, and, and, and let's be honest, a little bit of luck on their side, too. The Adam Central call could have won either way. Uh, east side fumbles inside the five in the playoffs and the win, but, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of luck, and I think it was all skill Friday that they came back and won. And You know, Coach, Coach Haydox told me earlier this season, yeah, these, a lot of these guys are sophomores, but they played a lot as freshmen. Mm -hmm. So these aren't guys that are still just sophomores getting their first experience in varsity football. They've pretty much played two complete uh, years of varsity football now. So veteran guys, even as sophomores, and they've uh, it learned a lot, And they're gonna, but it's a new challenge. You're in the final four, three-hour trip to Whiting on a Saturday. I think it helps playing a Saturday. You're not you know, rushing out of school and trying to get over there, but uh, it's going to be a tremendous test to go there and play. Four of their last five games, if you want to count the Adam Central game in week nine, they've won by a total of eight points. Yeah. Is, is this a team of destiny? I know that's like a, a cliched phrase, and you don't want to lump it on them until maybe they've won a state championship or made it to a state championship game um, because, you know, that, in many ways that's a determining factor. But do you feel like this team has just figured out how to win a game when it's close, and that could be you know, a tipping point for them long term? Yeah, to me, I looked at previous to last week, I looked at, look, Woodland's been lucky uh, a couple times this year. And my thinking was, can they beat a quality team without getting a little bit of luck like they did against Adam Central on East Side? And they did it last week. They were down 19 points to a very good West La or a Winchester team and came back and won. And we're really able to slow down a, a kid going to Mich Michigan on a, a football scholarship. I mean, so that told me a lot about Woodland. And, and I thought, well, they're just going to run against a team, run into a team that's, that's better than them, and they're not going to be able to play. And they handled Winchester and came back and won. So at this point, team of destiny, yeah, maybe. I mean, um, they've, they've, they've showed up time after time, and they sit there 13-0. They have not allowed that undefeated record go in their heads. And now they have to one more before playing for a state championship. And you think they'll do it? Yeah, why not? 
If you're going to get on the bus <laughs> for three hours, you may as well win. You might, time. yeah, because you don't want that drive yeah, back to be rough. <laughs> that's a long drive back if it doesn't work out. I think it will.